In this video, we are going to create a simple calculator using servlet. So let us create a project first. You will go to file menu on the menu bar and then click on new project. In new project, Java web as category and web application as project. Next, give a proper name. I am going to give the name as demo cal. Click on next. Ensure that the class for server is selected. Click on next. No need to choose any framework. Then click on finish. Now your project is created. By default, index.html file will open. You will make following changes in the file. Now provide a some title. I am providing the title as calculator. Now in the body tag, remove the div tag because we don't need it and start typing the code. I'll start from the form tag. Form tag, I'm providing the action attribute. And in the action attribute, I'm going, going to give the name of my servlet that I'm going to create. So I'm going to create a servlet called as calculator servlet. Come out, close the angle bracket, as well as close the form tag. Now, inside the form, what do we need? We need two text boxes for two numbers, four radio buttons for four operations, and two buttons that is submit and clear. So, let us write the code for that. First, enter first number. This is a normal text that I am writing. Now, how to take the input? You have an input tag. Input tag has the first attribute as type. Here the type is text. Next attribute is name. Very important because we are going to refer this name in the servlet file. Then br tag so that the next text box will appear on the new line. Now enter second number. Input type again is equal to text but now the name will be txt num2 again br br just to br so that there is a proper spacing no other reason ensure that you are putting the tags in angle bracket now for radio buttons we will first write select operation again a br tag because I want the things on new line now how do we get the radio buttons we will again use the input tag only but instead of type as text we will give the type as radio now the entire set of radio buttons that you are going to create will have the same name so all the four radio buttons will have the same name but different values. So see how that is created. Input type is equal to radio come out. Name is equal to opt come out. Value is equal to when I say come out we are coming out of the inverted commas if you are observing carefully. Okay the first value is plus sign because I want to create a addition radio button. Now again input space type is equal to C radio is in double quotation marks name is equal to OPT value will be different as I said it is minus right now and it is subtraction br now same i'll do for multiplication also input type is equal to radio you press the right arrow key to come out of the inverted commas huh? that is very 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 important opt come out of the inverted commas value is equal to multiplication sign now 
angle bracket complete multiplication it is important to write these words because otherwise you know only the radio buttons will be displayed nothing will be displayed in front of the radio button so whatever text we are writing here that is displayed in front of the radio button now our last radio button is input type is equal to radio name is equal to opt remember we are supposed to give the same names everywhere value is division that is the division symbol and division and brpr okay now i am giving two brs because i want more space between the options and the two buttons which i am going to include now two buttons is also a very simple thing to have here the type will be equal to submit and i am giving the value of the button that is the text that is displayed on the button as calculate okay now another button i want again in the same line so i am not giving any br tag but here the type will be reset because i want to give a button that will uh, clear the text okay and value is clear angle bracket complete form complete our form is ready okay now we will create a servlet write the code in the servlet and then run the project okay you can just check whether your form is running or no just by you know uh, running the project if you click on calculate you will get a 404 error because there is no servlet in place right now okay so let this error be there there's nothing wrong once we create the servlet that error will go away okay now how to create a servlet you right click on your project say new and servlet now very 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 important what name will you give in the class name you will give exactly the same name that you have written in the action tag so what name i have written in the action tag it is calculator calculator servlet check the spelling also huh? and check capital and small things also capital letters small letters they are different in java package name is demo cal uh demo calc later okay now you click on next button very important click on this text box add information to deployment descriptor web dot xml okay once this is done you click on finish your servlet is created now before you start typing any code in the servlet you will make following changes sabse pehle delete all the comments carefully observe how, what i am selecting and what i am deleting delete the complete comments put a cursor on line number 31 click on shift key down arrow key take it down and delete it okay also delete this code or clear carefully observe what code i am deleting okay you will also delete the try block you will not delete the print writer because we do need print writer but you will delete try block and the excess of the angle bracket now still error is coming why because there's no semicolon over here as soon as you put the semicolon all errors will disappear okay one more important change change the process request to service c is a uh, s is small okay now your servlet is ready for running okay how to check if everything is correct or no quickly run the project okay and click on calculate button a blank page will come this means your index.html is connected to your calculator servlet okay and now once we write the code in the servlet file everything will run very smoothly chalo now how to write the code in servlet file what code am i supposed to write we want to take the numbers as input from the user how many numbers are there two so first of all declare two variables num1 and num2 for the numbers and 
result as a third variable to store the result. We also have to store what operation to perform. So declare a, another variable but now a string variable to take the operation that is opt variable. Now how to fetch the values from index.html into the servlet. The procedure is very simple. We make use of the request object and the get parameter method. So I will write num1 equal to request dot get parameter inside the bracket in double quotation marks name of the parameter that is txt num1 again make sure that you are writing the exact name as you have written in index.html so exact same name should be written in the servlet file now if you see over here you are getting an error what is the error it says that string cannot be converted to double why does this error come because num1 is a double type of is a variable of type double whereas get parameter is a method that returns string how to solve this error very simple add following code double dot parse double open the bracket and close the bracket right before this Okay, now num2 is equal to double dot parse double bracket open request dot get parameter bracket open inverted commas may txt num2 semicolon come down. Okay, carefully see the syntax, observe where the double quotations are starting and ending. Now, we will take the operation. So, opt is equal to, no need to convert it into string or anything now because get parameter will also give you string and opt is also a variable of type string. So, no conversion needed. Simply, request dot get parameter and inside the bracket the name attribute that we have written in double quotation marks that is opt okay make sure that the spelling of request is correct don't make any spelling mistakes otherwise you will get the errors like this okay now we have all our data we are supposed to do the processing now how to do the processing again very simple if inside the bracket opt dot equals we will write plus sign remember what val values we have given over here we have given the values as plus minus into and divide signs so those signs we are going to use over here okay so inside the if what i'll write result is equal to num1 plus num2 semicolon else if opt dot equals double inverted commas minus open and close curly braces result is equal to num1 minus num2 semicolon come out else if inside the bracket opt dot equals now I'll check for multiplication open curly braces result is equal to num1 into num2 semicolon else now only the last part is remaining so no need of condition the result will be equal to num1 divided by num2 semicolon you come out of a uh, you know uh, else if ladder and now you will print the result how to print the result out dot print ln 
open in closing brackets you will write result is equal to sign give a plus and then write variable result okay now our code is ready to run we can run this code and we can see if it is really working i'm entering the first number as 10 second number as 5 i'm selecting addition the answer should obviously be 15 the result is 15 i'm going back i'm keeping the numbers same but now i'm selecting subtraction the answer should be 5 the result is indeed 5 now i'm selecting multiplication the answer should be 50 the result is indeed 50 and now i'm selecting division the result should be 2.0 that is 10 divided by 2 is sorry 10 divided by 5 is 2 the result is indeed 2 thank you